Most Americans are familiar with the story of Benjamin Franklin and his kite. How on one June day in 1752, he flew that kite during a thunderstorm and ended up discovering electricity. But did it really happen? As it turns out, most historians believe there is some truth to the story, but it's a little more complicated than popular legend makes it out to be. For one thing, Franklin didn't discover electricity. People already knew about it at the time of his experiments. Franklin wasn't even the first to propose that a lightning bolt was a form of electricity. Other scientists already suspected that. But after explaining the similarities he saw between electricity and lightning, including the color, crooked formation, and crackling sound, he was the first to suggest an experiment to prove a connection. In a letter written in 1750, Franklin suggested that during a storm, a wooden sentry box be placed atop a hill or inside a steeple with a pointed rod attached to the roof. If a man inside the box held a wire touching the rod, Franklin predicted he would see a shower of sparks when lightning struck the rod. After the Royal Society of London published his proposal, a group of Frenchmen put it to the test in May 1752. Before Franklin learned of their success, however, he had decided to try it out himself. He thought he could prove his theory with a wired kite, which could fly higher than a hill or steeple. So as the story goes, on June 10, 1752, Franklin and his son William hoisted a kite with a wire attached to it into the stormy skies. When lightning struck, the resulting electricity in the air charged the metal key that he had tied to the end of the string. Franklin touched his knuckles to the key and sparks jumped from the key to his hand, proving his theory that electricity was in fact gathering in the clouds above. And he was even able to collect some of the charge in a Leiden jar, a special device made for storing electricity. The sparks Franklin felt were from electricity in the air and not from lightning striking the kite, as some versions of the legend would have it. If lightning had struck the kite directly, Franklin would most likely have been killed, as was a Russian man who attempted the same experiment several months later. News spread quickly of Franklin's electrical amusements, as he called his experiments, making him the most celebrated man of science in the world. He coined terms such as battery, conductor, charge, discharge, and electric shock, among others, and invented the lightning rod, which Franklin considered one of the greatest achievements of his career. And for a man who signed the Declaration of Independence and the U.S. Constitution, that's saying a lot.